Hi there and welcome to Tuesday's episode of Who Has Sports Today, where celebrations is the theme. As all of Europe's domestic leagues have confirmed their champions, except maybe France, where Lille still need four points out of the remaining three matches to win the league. So today we bring you some celebratory images from continental Europe and the operative word is styly. Plus we'll bring you images of another trophy slid from a bus parade. That Sergio Ramos is contagious, I tell you. So let's start with Spain, where Barcelona wrapped up another season with Silverware picking up their third consecutive La Liga title and 21st overall. That's 21. And although their status as champions was confirmed the weekend before, the trophy presentation was held right after their game with Deportivo La Coruña at the new Camp on Sunday. The match ended in a scholar's draw, but not that it mattered as Barca put out a youth team to take on Depo. But the 90-odd thousand fans were just waiting for the final whistle so that celebrations, Catalan style, can get underway. Yes, it's party time now, but I'm sure Pep Guardiola and the boys will have that Champions League final with Manchester United on their minds as well. As for United fans, you will have to wait until the final whistle this Sunday against Blackpool before you can get to see the momentous trophy presentation for the record-breaking 19th title. But the Dutch will look at it and say, so what, 19? Because newly crowned Eredivisie champions Ajax bagged league title number 30. That's 3-0 in thrilling style. Ajax were trailing reigning champions and leaders FC20 by a point and both teams face each other in the final match of the season. In what was a thrilling encounter, Ajax prevailed with a 3-1 win and took the title. But what took headlines yesterday is that they dropped the trophy during the bus parade. Well, it was one of Ajax's players who you'd expect to hang on to it securely, goalkeeper Martin Stecklenberg. Uh, it's a little difficult to see as this was shot using a camera phone, I think. But as you see the bus passes the junction, the electrical wires caught the disc-shaped trophy. And it's coming just about now. That's where Stecklenburg dropped it. And a passerby, probably a fan, just picks it up for his moments of celebration with the trophy. Now, he's got pretty good speed chasing the bus too. And there's just one more title celebration from continental Europe coming up. But let's look at some Premier League stories. And the one, of course, is about Manchester City's captain, Carlos Tevez, wanting to leave the club. Well, what was quoted in several British dailies was that Tevez mentioned about his family being a long way away from Manchester. And it will be on a personal capacity if he is to leave. He doesn't have any problems with anyone at the club. But in short, uh, excuse the pun, his family will have a say in his future. And as the media swung their attention towards Roberto Mancini, the Italian said this to the mirror, the, the newspaper that is, quotes, I never said that Carlos wanted to go to Italy. He has a fabulous contract with us. He is our captain and is an important player for us. I don't know if he was saying goodbye after the game on Saturday. You'd have to ask him. And the Italian parts with some words of wisdom. It's important to work with a team if you believe in a project. If I'm not happy, I leave. This is true for everyone in every job. I'm Quote. Come Sunday, City and the other teams will have 101 days till the transfer market window closes on August the 31st to sort out their squad, sell, buy or go on loan. Who knows what surprises are installed. Meanwhile, the reality of relegation hurts for fans, players and people involved with the club. Such as West Ham who will now ply their trade in championship football next season and it was literally hurting for the Hammers after a brawl erupted at their season-ending appreciation gala night. Witnesses suggested that the trouble began when a West Ham player refused to sign an autograph for a fan. As police were called into the hotel in Park Lane, yes, the same Park Lane on your Monopoly board, as reportedly tables were overturned, a vase was smashed and chairs were thrown with security allegedly pursuing a group of fans as they tried to flat the premises. No reports of any arrests so far and no mentions of who was the West Ham player who refused to sign the autograph. We will have more from the Premier League tomorrow as we head into the season finale on Sunday. But tomorrow as well, we will look into the Battle of the Banners as a group of United fans snuck into Anfield and draped 19 titles and United are still up to mischief. 
as to what to do with the banner they made for City for 35 years without a trophy, which is now redundant. But we'll leave you with celebrations from Germany as Borussia Dortmund did it in Bundesliga style. This was their seventh crown and first since 2002 in a season that set them apart from the rest of the clubs, even the only present by Munich. So enjoy those German celebrations. Until tomorrow, I'm Patrick for the team saying it's bye for now.